Hey guys, Eric here. Got any questions about outposts? Well, hopefully I have the answer. In State of Decay 2, depending on the level of command center at your base, you can hold up to four outposts. These things are pretty handy, being permanent safe zones, places where you can stash supplies, not rucksacks though, and accrue resources depending on the type of outpost it is. Regular outposts offer things like food, medicine, and materials, usually one per day, and they cost about 300 to 400 influence a pop. There's also special outposts which are rarer, cost a lot of influence, and in some cases have a daily fuel requirement. So how should you go about getting an outpost? I've read some people say that you should just amass as much influence as possible and just buy up the special outposts first, but that seems kind of wasteful to me. They're not really necessary until you get a stable community going, so I think it's better just to get outposts that can shore up any of your flagging resources and then keep you alive for a while. So like if you're finding yourself often running short on food, get a food outpost, which are usually diners and restaurants. If you're low on medicine all the time, get a medical outpost, you know, that kind of thing. What I will say is that it is better to save up influence for getting outposts and new home bases. Don't just waste it on random stuff like trading with other groups or just like doing some call-ins. If you need influence, I think trading with allies is the best fastest way to build up influence. Uh, get books, get high value items or plague cures and trade them with other settlements that you've made your ally and that'll net you the most influence gains. Do it before allying with them gets you less influence so it's better just to hoard your stuff until you've gotten enough missions and favors for them that you finally do become allies. Now eventually, once you're in good shape with resources, you got your best stuff, you're all okay, then it's in your best interest to get the special outposts. There's two that give you resources, the water outpost which costs a thousand influence but provides water to your base and the power outpost which costs two thousand influence and unsurprisingly provides power. Both of these greatly improve morale and make your life a little easier, but you'll have to pay a daily fuel cost, one gas per day. The last special outpost is mostly just for fun. The artillery outpost allows you to use the artillery strike radio command, which causes a bunch of explosions in a large area. It's only 500 influence and has no fuel allowance, but does cost influence every time you want to call in an artillery strike, I think it's 150. These outposts only appear once per map, always in a remote area. Because of their low influence cost, it's perfectly viable to hunt this place down early and just make use of the artillery before you're very well equipped. Both water and power are required for certain facility upgrades, so getting them as outposts gives you more room for stuff in your base. On one hand, the base facilities for water and power are cheaper, but the outposts are more convenient. At the end of the day, influence is really only good for getting outposts and expanding your base, so if you have the fuel and don't need any of the other stuff, getting the special outposts is generally more efficient. There we go, that's all I gotta say about outposts. Hope you found some of this helpful, and have a good one guys.